Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. I would like to give you another brief review of my week. Um, so one of the highlights was I got reminded that Cisco Live in February next year, 9th till 11th February is going to happen. So the planning is going on. Registrations open on the 17th of November uh, this year, so that'll be next week. Um, the second thing was that noise removal this like amazing feature we have now for our room endpoints is not gonna make it anytime soon into our mx releases so this has to wait for a little bit if it will come at all there were two very nice videos posted by dustin one of them was the standard video layouts on webex boards and the second one was adding the virtual background image via the settings.webex.com web page so the last thing is usb pass through so we have since quite a while the desk pro and the usb mini the possibility to have the web the camera and the audio part so speakers and microphone forwarded via usb so you can use these audio video devices on your PC for any application you like um, on our other video endpoints this is not the case yet or has not been the case and now with like a HDMI capture device for example this is going to be possible so you basically connect a, a HDMI, HDMI capture device to one of our video endpoints and with a little script on the video endpoint you can easily transform your standard video endpoint to a usb device this is quite amazing and i thought i'm gonna do a dedicated video about this but i realized it's been made so easy that it's like not really worth going through a whole video so i quickly show you my setup like uh, up here so i have two video cameras connected to my codec plus i have one screen going out i have the hdmi capture device connected to the second screen output um, i have the audio out also connected to the hdmi capture device um, the hdmi capture device is connected via usb to my laptop there it offers the audio and video part to be used as a, a usb or an external camera and um, then i have to get the audio and video signal back on the main screen um, i have an hdmi connection from my laptop to my codec like it is in this case like the third input of the codec so it's drawn up here and I would like to quickly guide you through how you can install these scripts and how it looks in the end what the experience is for the user. First of all we're logging into the device itself and we go to the macro editor then we import the three scripts you can ask for by your Cisco representative um, onto the device. We will save them and then we will turn them on or enable them one by one. And you will see on the device itself there is a first time setup visible and uh, after some time you will get the message to setup being complete you will see at the bottom there is an additional oops, uh, uh, option available on the device so this one here with this you can at any time move your video endpoint to become a USB camera <laughs> and speaker um, by just pressing the button you'll see the layout slightly changes so you don't have the um, layout you used to anymore but it is uh, a little bit different <coughs> so
So I moved to my video endpoint where the actual laptop is sitting and the HDMI capture device is sitting as well. So it's just like a matter of cable length which I try to reduce. So I'm logging into the Microsoft Teams meeting now here for example. I'm not using the application. I'm continuing with the browser. Um, it's loading the website uh, of the meeting which is currently running so with my other laptop I'm in this meeting already so Microsoft Teams is starting here initializing I see here the various options I have in terms of the device I'm using so I chose to have as my microphone the game capture device or the HDMI capture as my output I use my HDMI out which is going into the codec and um, as the camera uh, you s see that I'm using the actual uh, camera here so let me see can I change that there you go so on the right hand side I have the option a little bit more detailed so camera I use this HDMI capture device not the FaceTime camera microphone uh, the same and as output for the picture so that the content of the uh, meeting actually and the um, audio I'll use the actual HDMI output port I can let me uh, yeah mute as a participant so only mute in one place either on the endpoint or in the application so I'm joining now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be admitted in a second see that I joined now as a participant of that very meeting. The self view is my um, video camera I'm using also in other calls. I have like two additional participants. One is the laptop and the other one is the uh, iPad with this one here. And yeah, there you go. That's how easy it is. I can just like you can at any point in time later then uh, disable the USB mode so this is like reduced to the to simplicity so you don't have much of an option so you can disable the USB mode and you can use the endpoint as a standard video endpoint again so I hope that helped thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope to see you in my next video review or tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.